Hi Libra, it's Jodie Teresa here. I'm back here today to give you a love tarot reading. I'm going to jump straight into the read. So I'm looking at your feelings towards your love interest, their feelings towards you, the connection between you both, any issues that may need to be addressed, and the final outcome. Okay. For those born under the zodiac sign of Libra, please. How does Libra feel about their love interest, please? How does Libra feel? <laughs> We've got the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups here is showing depth, depth of feelings and emotions. This is basically telling me, Libra, that you're in it. You know, your heart is in it, your emotions are in it, you're emotionally invested. I wouldn't even say you're emotionally invested to some extent. I would say that you're deeply emotionally invested in this person okay please tell me more how does libra feel about this person please how does libra feel about this person please from the top i've got the page once so there's a lot of passion here on your part towards this person too Page of Wands is very, very passionate, quite optimistic. Um, so, yeah, both cards here together. Libra, tell me that you yourself are in this. Uh, let's move in to their feelings towards you. How does this person feel about Libra, please? <clears throat> How does this person, please, feel about Libra? Oh, it's dropped to the floor. Bear with me. So I've got a new arrangement, haven't I? Again, I've got a new setup. So, um, yeah, I've got to get used to it. Bear with me, peoples. <clears throat> okay, I've got the Nine of Swords. This is somebody who is feeling a little bit stressed. We've got mental frustration in the Nine of Swords. Please tell me more. How does this person feel about Libra, please? Now, on top of the Nine of Swords, I've got the Death card. So this is indicating that this person's going through something personal to them. Um, death card is also known as Scorpio. It's not a scary card, so try not to be afraid of this, of this tarot card. Um, Nine of Swords, mental frustration relating here to themselves, their mind going through some type of transition, some type of big change within themselves. And we've got the Five of Swords. If you're a crosswatcher watching... And the message here for you, if you're if you're interested in Libra and you're watching now, um, is to be a little bit kinder to yourself. So this is somebody who is not being very kind to themselves on a mental level. So by that, you know, I can see here the need for more confidence. I can see here the need for more optimism. How do they feel about Libra, please? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So you have the Ace of Cups. They've got the Ace of Pentacles. And um, there's something here that feels right to this person. So whether it's the connection between you, the time that you spend with each other. Uh, there's, there is optimism surrounding the Ace of Pentacles that things are heading in the right direction for them with you. And um, this does also indicate that they can clearly see that there's an opportunity there between you both. Now, the surrounding cards to me are, they've appeared because they're obviously necessary um, insights. It's obviously necessary to be heard. We will get into any issues here that may need to be addressed. I feel like this is very specific to this person. So again, if you're the cross watcher watching this reading, there's the need here to be a little bit kinder to yourself, especially when it comes to what you're telling yourself in your mind. And there's a need here for more optimism in general. So that could be impacting this connection. <clears throat> Please tell me more about the Five of Swords. Got the Queen of Cups. Okay, this person does value the connection between themselves and Libra. They value the connection here, but at the same time, they're coming through as 
overthinking. I feel like this is somebody who is to the point of overthinking. Emotionally, I'm seeing emotions here. So to some extent, they are emotionally invested. But when it comes to their mind, I don't feel like their head and heart are necessarily on the same page. And from what I can see, it's, it's down to some type of insecurity relating to the words that the thoughts that they're that they're thinking you know the things that they're telling themselves so there's definitely the need here for more confidence and more optimism in general um for this person so when it comes to the feelings towards you libra to some extent emotionally invested yes they are optimistic and confident that there is an opportunity there between you both okay connection what can you tell me about the connection between these two please oh we've got the page of pentacles come through please tell me more <laughs> i really need to change this table it's just the angle of the table that i've got like half a table and then no table just floor so i mean it's a 50 50 that they're gonna land on the floor isn't it really okay <laughs> we've got three of cups gonna have to turn sideways any more cards please what can you tell me about the connection between these two I've got the queen of pentacles and i'm going to ask one more time any more connection cards here please and now we've got the six of pentacles okay a lot of pentacles three of cups there is a very very strong physical connection between you and this person you may feel quite naturally drawn towards each other. Um, there could be a lot of attraction and a lot of physical attraction between you both. We do have emotion here too, which does to, you know, to some extent identify um, an emotional connection is between you both too. The highest cards, however, here I've got on the table are physical. So more the, the passion and the attraction here coming through. Now, on the table, I've got both the Page of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles facing each other, as you can see. So you're both on similar pages towards each other. Not exactly, you know, both exactly on the same page. However, similar. Um, Six of Pentacles, absolutely fantastic card when it comes to intent. Uh, there's good intentions here indicated between you both. So the overall connection between you, I would say, is definitely beneficial. There's no cautions here. There's no red flags or, you know, anything I feel to advise you like, oh, my gosh, scary. I'm not seeing any um, any cautions. Uh, so overall, the connection between you both is beneficial. Now, I've not had anything here come through to, to state, you know, soulmate, past life, um, twin flame, sacred um, connection between you both. But it's not to say that it's not there. This is a general reading for your entire zodiac sign, and I'm going off of four tarot cards. Um, so from what I've got from these four tarot cards, a very strong physical connection and an emotional connection to some extent too. I like this setup. You can see my eyes a little bit better, which I think is hugely important when reading. Um, also, you know, you can see me shuffle, but I just need to, you know, just move the table. Just need to move the table around. Um connection any issues that may need to be addressed are there any issues here please that may need to be addressed are there any issues we've got the six of pentacles questioning intentions please tell me more why is the six of pentacles here please because to have the Six of Pentacles in your connection cards is something that I would say one would feel that the other person has good intentions, but actually it's come through as an issue. Uh, we've then got the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Somebody who's a little bit hot and cold. I don't feel necessarily Libra like this is you, okay? Because if I get that it's you, then I would say it. Um, if I don't get either way, it's usually both. I'm feeling like this is their energy. Four of Pentacles, holding back, being a little bit guarded. Page of Wands here, quite forthcoming. This person may go quiet one minute and quite communicative the next. 
And that may lead you to be questioning this person's intent and their intentions here. So I've got somebody who's coming through who's a little bit hot and cold. I feel like this is something that would be completely out of your control. There's nothing here that I could suggest. And if you're a cross watcher watching, it may be something to be mindful about that Libra may be needing to see a little bit more. Not necessarily stability, consistency. I'm seeing a lack of consistency when it comes to behaviour. Okay, <clears throat> which I can see is causing Libra to question intent. Into the final outcome. I will take this into an extended reading. For those of you who are already with me on Patreon, fantastic. It will be available to you guys. If you're not already with me, you're more than welcome to join me on Patreon. You'll then receive readings early and access to all the extendeds. It's less than a price of coffee these days, which is good. It's not good that coffee is that expensive, but it's good that I've kept costs down because I can. Okay, what is the outcome here, please, for Libra? What can Libra expect to be happening between themselves and this person, please? We've got the Chariot, also known as a Cancerian card. It's landed like this, which tells me that, like, from now till the next... I would usually say three months, but I'm going to say three to six. So, from now till the next three to six months... Um, I'd expect momentum to be being gained between you both, but not necessarily rapid actions, rapid outcomes, rapid answers. You know, but things are indicated here to start moving a little bit quicker. When this card's upright, that's where it's going. That does indicate that things are heading in the right direction. The chariot card is indicating that you're heading towards a positive destination. OK, it's just not necessarily immediately as to how the card has landed. Please tell me more. Two cards here together. We've got the Death card and the Ace of Pentacles. OK, I'm getting the word shedding here around the Death card, which really is not an unusual word to surround this card. Shedding could be shedding of one's old self, shedding of one's ways. Again, I'm not feeling like it's on your part, Libra. So I feel like this person really is going through some type of transition. Um, and the Ace of Pentacles there is, of course, identifying, you know, heading towards this opportunity. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please? Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight. Okay, an opportunity is within sight. It is seen there to be within the knight's hands. It is absolutely not anything there that's going to be immediate. That is exactly what is coming through here. Although things are indicated to head in the right direction between you both, this person's going through some type of changes I feel are absolutely nothing to do with you. Um, so I hope that that's helped. I will, as I say, take it into an extended and let's close off with some oracle messages. So for those of you who are in no contact, I will be asking for any messages for you. These are more like in relation to ex-partners, those that are separated um, and there's no like communication. So no contact, basically. So I will ask for any messages from this deck. Um, but let's also ask for any messages for you from my custom deck. This is not for retail. It is just for us guys, just for the channel. Okay. Are there any messages here, please? Any messages for Libra, please? Time to heal. Please tell me more. Trust what you know. Trust what you know and time to heal. And I respect you. So this person is coming through with respect. They have come through here as having good intentions. Although that is the first thing that I will focus upon in the extended is this person's intentions towards you. And dig a little bit deeper into their feelings. 
Now, again, for those of you in no contact, are there any messages here, please, for Libra? Two cards have jumped. <clears throat> so many things remind me of you, and I'm becoming a better person. So somebody going through it. I'm becoming a better person. So many things remind me of you. Okay, and closing off with my favourite Oracle deck, if I can find it, my Archangel Michael deck. Please feel free to sub subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. That way you should hopefully receive notifications of upcoming readings. And do, of course, give me a like if you've enjoyed this reading today. It's helped. Any messages here, please, for Libra? Believe and trust. Now I'll read the prayer and guidance aloud. It's then entirely up to you, Libra or Cross Watcher, if you're wanting to read this within prayer or to follow the guidance. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. Now I feel like that would apply to both of you. So again, Cross Watcher is watching. Before going to sleep, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. Guys, I hope that that's helped. And um, I'll be back again soon. Link to the extended will be available below. Until next time, I leave you with my love. Thank you for watching and bye for now.